Today on this 2009 Subaru Forester, we're going to be installing draw tight hitch part number 75650. And this installation will also apply for hidden hitch part number 87493. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and lower the exhaust down. There are four main hangers and then there's one forward hanger that we need to lower the exhaust off of. Before we remove all five of the hangers, we want to go ahead and put a support strap up at the forward side of the exhaust system here. I'm just going to be using a basic ratchet strap to support it. To remove the exhaust off of its hangers, we are just going to take a spray lubricant like WD-40 and we just want to spray down the studs of the hanger. And then we could just take a pair of pliers or a pry bar and then we could separate the two pieces. Okay, we want to repeat that for the four rear hangers and the one at the forward side as well. All right, with the exhaust lowered down, uh, we're actually looking at the driver's side frame rail. We want to go ahead and point out the mounting holes that we're going to be using to attach our trailer hitch to the vehicle. You see here we've got three plugs at the bottom of the frame. We're actually going to be removing the two forwardmost ones and using those as our two attaching points for our trailer hitch. We're also going to need to remove the forward attaching screw for the heat shield. Since there isn't an access point for us to get inside the frame, we're going to drill two 3 8 holes one on each side and file them out. What that's going to do is enlarge the hole enough for us to use it actually as an access hole as well as an attaching hole. And with doing just a quick test fit, I'm actually able to go ahead and get our carriage bolts and blocks inside the frame with just one of the 3 8 holes as opposed to having to drill two. So if that's the case, you can stop with just one. But again, you need to do that on both the drivers and passenger sides. Okay, with our hole enlarged, we can go ahead and start fishing our hardware into the frame. So we're going to start by fishing the 7 16 hardware into the frame. So I'll take my 7 16 bolt leader and we're going to go ahead and feed it through our attaching hole and back out our access hole. We'll next take the 7 16 block and go ahead and feed it onto the bolt leader followed by our 7 16 carriage bolt. And what we're going to do is take the threads of the bolt leader and wrap them around the threads of the carriage bolt. Next we'll take the block and go ahead and feed it into the inside the frame followed by the carriage bolt. We'll take the other end of the bolt leader and pull them into position. Then we'll next take the half inch hardware and we're going to do what's called the reverse pull for this attaching point. Independent of the frame, we're going to go ahead and take and feed the block onto the bolt leader, followed by the carriage bolt. And what we're going to do here is go ahead and feed the carriage bolt up first, followed by the block and pull them straight back down into position. We just want to repeat that setup for the passenger side attaching holes as well. And then we'll go ahead and put our hitch up in position. We'll be attaching the hitch to the hardware using conical tooth washers and a nut. All right, now we've got the hardware in position. We can go ahead and torque our bolts down. You want to verify with the directions the specific torque rating for each of the bolts. And now that we've got all the bolts torqued down, we just want to make sure we put our exhaust back up on all its hangers and our installation will be complete. And now that we've got our hitch installed, we're going to go ahead and give you a couple of the final dimensions that will help make choosing your hitch accessories a little bit easier. From the top of the receiver tube opening to the ground is going to measure 13 and 3 quarters inches. And from the center of the pinhole to clear the rear edge of the bumper is going to measure approximately 7 and a half inches. And with that, that will conclude the installation of draw tight hitch part number 75650 on a 2009 Subaru Forester.